Miss Gina here, and I'm a children's librarian here at the Fullerton Public Library, and it's a story time break. It's time, but what am I doing here in a zoo? Hmm, well, I think we're gonna take a look at our story for today, and we'll see why. This one's called the Baby BB Bird by Diane Redfield Massey. She wrote the book. And the pictures are by Stephen Kellogg. And it's one of my favorite read aloud story books here. Let's see. It's a story time favorite at Bedtime Bears. I know that. Hmm. The Baby BB Bird. The animals at the zoo had roared and growled and hissed and meowed all day long. They were very tired. Look at all the sounds they're making. Roar! Oompa! Argus! <sighs> it's eight o'clock yawned the elephant, and he settled down in his big hay bed. I've eaten 562 peanuts today, he said. But no one heard him. They were all asleep. The zoo was very still. Until... <coughs> what? said the elephant. Is that? It's the baby baby bird, said the giraffe. He's new to the zoo. Well, tell him to be quiet, growled the leopard. I want to sleep. Be quiet, please, said the giraffe politely. But I can't said the baby BB bird. I'm wide awake. Quiet, roared the lion. He's wide awake, explained the giraffe. Why isn't he tired like the rest of us, moans the bear. Aren't you tired, asked the giraffe. No, said the BB bird. I've slept all day, and now it's time for me to sing. Oh dear, said the elephant, and I am so sleepy. Quiet, shouted all the animals. We can't sleep. All night long. The sun rose in the morning on a very tired zoo. What can be the matter, cried the keeper. The elephant is still lying down. The lion's paws are over his eyes. The eagle isn't screeching. Oh dear me, the animals must be sick, he wailed, and he hurried away. Bobby, 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 said the baby Bobby bird cheerfully, and he settled down for his morning nap. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. <sighs> the lion whispered to the bear, I have a plan, he said. The bear nodded and whispered the plan to the others. The Bobby bird was at last asleep. <laughs> roared the lion, Bobby Bobby, trumpeted the elephant, Bobby Bobby, bellowed the bears, Bobby 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 Bobby, saying all the animals all together. Quiet, said the Bobby bird. Can't you see that I'm sleeping? It's time for my nap. Bobby 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 yelled the hippos, Bobby 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 shrieked the seals, Bobby 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 thundered the moose and the water buffalo. Bobby, 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 they roared. 
the keeper came running with his arms in the air. Something is wrong, he shouted. Something is very wrong with the animals. Whatever shall I do? And he jumped up and down with alarm. Baby Bobby Bobby sang the animals all day long. And the baby baby bird simply couldn't sleep at all. The sun went down and the moon came up. Bobby, whispered the lion, who was too tired to roar. Bobby, baby, sighed the bear as he closed his eyes. Bobby, Bobby, bumbled the elephant half to himself. And then all was still. The moon shone down upon a sleeping zoo. Not an ear or a tail or a whisker moved. And high, high up in the linden tree, a tiny bird inside a leaf was fast asleep. And now, every day at the zoo, you can hear in between the lion's roars. Roar, roar. But at night, there is never a sound. Nighttime is really best for sleeping, especially for very little birds. Bye-bye. See you next time.